everyone, welcome back to Risa Does Makeup. I am here with my good friend, Michelle Wong, and we are going to show you our Sephora VIB Sale Haul. If you're not familiar with Michelle, I'm sure most of you are though, she is the queen of luxury makeup. <laughs> I'm actually in heaven right now because if you haven't noticed, we are filming, well, I am filming somewhere different than where I usually film because I'm at Michelle's. Hey. And this room is just filled with <laughs> all of the pretties, all of the luxury pretties. So I'm really happy to be here. I'm really happy that we were able to do this together. Me too. And I'm going to tell them why we had to wait. Michelle and I both have Sephora flash shipping, you know, mm -hmm. because we're rouge status like five times over. <laughs> and um, unfortunately though, when you order certain items, do you know which item it was that you ordered? Or mm -hmm. you're, okay, we'll get to that later. But mm -hmm. certain items can't ship um, air; they have to come ground, and so it, yeah. for some reason, it takes forever yeah. to get our orders out here. So yeah. we're just gonna show you what we got and give, like, you know, maybe talk about why we wanted to get it. Mm -hmm. like, should yeah. we do? Like, I feel like I have a lot. I feel like we're, this video is gonna be very, very long. I so, think people are okay with that. Yeah, I think they need to go grab a snack. Yeah, <laughs> we have our coffee here. Yeah, I finished my coffee. I oh. That coffee, she has the best coffee machine. Not only does she have <laughs> the best makeup, but she has the best coffee machine as well. But I have my water. I do take makeup and coffee very seriously, those two things. <laughs> that coffee maker is amazing. I need that. Okay, so let's start with, um, should I start with what I bought when I went shopping with you? Sure. So the day I was with you, and I mentioned this in my um, wish list video. This is the Buxom Rose Everyday Four Piece Plumping Lip Kit. So it comes with four Buxom glosses, four minis. And I like minis because when I go out for the evening, I usually take a smaller purse. So I like something that will fit into a smaller purse. And they're all just like pinky colors. Oh, pretty. Yeah, they're pretty pinks. Have you worn these? You've, you've had these. these um, oh, I have tons of Buxom glosses. Yeah, okay. I love Buxom lip glosses. They're, I don't know, if you don't like the tingle, you probably wouldn't like these. I don't like the tingle. I like a little bit of, uh, of a tingle. It's not like a burning, like Too Faced lip injection, like that really, to me, it burns. This is more of a little tingle and they're super glossy and they come in so many colors. I just, I really like them. Shall I go? Should we go one? Yeah, let's one do one more. at okay. a time. So speaking of lip glosses, and I know you've got some of these too, I picked up the Hourglass Unreal glosses, and I got Halo and Ignite. So here is Halo. It's just milky. It'll give your lips like a little bit of a, you know, glossy coating, and that's it. Um, and then Ignite, I actually got last night, last day of the sale. <laughs> I like ran into this for at Town Square and was mm -hmm. like, what do I need? You know, um, <laughs> Planet Hollywood didn't have these. Oh, really? Isn't that weird? That is weird. Did Planet not Hollywood, have them on display? by the way, if you ever visit Vegas, Planet Hollywood apparently is the Sephora that gets the most foot traffic and does the most business. I think and you told so, me that before. Yeah, and so they, like, they got Pat McGrath first. They mm -hmm. got Natasha Denona first. Uh, so that's surprising that they wouldn't yeah, have these. Yeah, no, I was tempted by Ignite. This is a gorgeous color. Yeah, it's really uh, peachy. It has almost like a champagne mm -hmm. kind of like uh, shift to it. Okay. Peach syrup. <laughs> and the formula is really nice. Wearing the um, Sublime, which is shocking <laughs> a nude. For my viewers, it's not going to be shocking at all because they know how much I love nude lips. And I love gloss. And I think that this formula, I don't know about you because I know you really love the Pat McGrath Lust glosses. And I do too. I do. But I think this might surpass it for me. Of course, I only have one. I don't have any any of the more sheer ones. Those are more sheer. This one is more opaque, and and not and not shimmery. No, it's not shimmery. It's just um, like the perfect oh pretty pinky nude. Um, so these have like a like a very light mintiness to it because that was my worry because they're marketed as a high shine volumizing lip gloss and so I had purchased Halo first tried that and the mint it's not so bad mm -mm. It just, no it's not the tingle like the buxom no not even close mm -mm. so that's why I went ahead and purchased Ignite so if you're not into the tingle these are fine no tingle no tingle so this is actually the one thing I got when yes, I was with you she bought one thing <laughs> on our shopping trip we went with a friend of mine shout out to Bianca hi Bianca, hi, Bianca. If you're watching. 
<laughs> um, she bought like a lot, a ton of stuff, yeah. a ton. But um, yeah, Michelle pulls up with like just this <laughs> one, one thing. thing in her hand, and we we spent easily forty five minutes in Sephora, maybe oh, like, longer. I think like, like an, an hour. hour. Yeah. yeah. And she just has this one thing in her hand. And it's like I just, you know, I had a couple things, and then I would put stuff back, yeah. and it kept switching. Um, but I had just placed an order online oh, that right, morning. Oh, right, 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 right. Um, so anyway, uh, this I forgot to order. So this is the Kevin O'Quan Neo Bronzer in Sunrise Light. Ooh, let's see. And I'm glad I got this in store. Well, I should say I didn't order it online because I wanted to see it. Mm -hmm. Um in real life so oh, that's nice it has like a bronzy but like really cool tone almost like rosy tinge to it and I always think that's really interesting for mm -hmm. a bronzer so I actually have not tried it yet I've I've gotten so many bronzers lately it's, tis the bronzer season um <laughs> so I am excited to try this it looks like it goes from like a shimmer yeah. and then it ombres over into a matte from like light to dark I don't know if it's the, the lights but it looks like it would be good for someone with fair skin yeah so i think because there's three look too dark yeah there's three shades and this one is the lightest yeah it's pretty and then i think the darker ones are also warmer, have mm -hmm. a warmer. Um, i actually got something kevin o'quan as well why are all my boxes so dirty i purchased the emphasize eye design palette have you seen these before yeah and the reason why i picked this up is i was watching um, do you follow Sin City Makeup, Layla? No. She's a makeup artist here in Vegas. She's okay. really good. She works with a lot of celebrities and does a lot of editorial work and weddings here in Vegas. And um, she did a makeup tutorial on someone that was going to the Country Music Awards that were here a couple oh, okay. weeks ago. And she put the video up on her YouTube channel and she was raving about these. I've had this for one day and it's so dirty already. <laughs> And I picked up Unblinking. But, um, I don't know. I, I don't. I really love the brown that's in here. That's really pigmented. Mm -hmm. And yeah. um, I think I have that one. You have the set? Yeah, I have two of them. Oh I have, wow! I think I have that one. And well, then what I did got you think of them? The really cool tone. I really like them. What surprised me about the cream shadow is that it's to me. I thought it was like really opaque and it's set down. I thought it was going to be one that I could like blend out and kind of like blend into the powder shadows or use as a base or something. Well, that's what I did. I used it as a base and then maybe I, I didn't work with it fast enough or maybe. something. I do. I do like it. Um, what I found though is that this works better with a finger dry than mm -hmm. with a wet brush. They didn't work wet. No, at it, all. it didn't. And that no. usually with a shimmer, I feel like I can go in with a wet brush and get more intensity, but not with this. It works much better with your finger. It's, yeah. it's pretty. It's a nice, palette um i like the color uh yeah. families that they have i think there's yeah so this is sort of like an olive green i don't know if you can see it um i'm gonna do a video i don't know if you're gonna do a video kind of using the products that you I, got i have a dedicated video to those too oh do you yeah oh. <laughs> thanks risa no okay. okay we'll link that in the description <laughs> So I did pick up a Pat McGrath lip gloss that I did not have. This is one that Mel Thompson was raving about. And so it's a little bit out of my lip gloss Ooh, comfort zone. See. This is more you because it's mm -hmm. more of like a solid, opaque, just straight that is up. a me color. Yeah, pink mm -hmm. color. And so I just never really paid much mind to it. But she really raved about it. What's it called? Prima Donna. Sorry. Oh, did you say that? I mean, you might have said that. I did not say it. Oh, um, that's but, beautiful. But there's the Prima Donna color. It has a faint... Faint vanilla scent, mm -hmm. but yeah, that's it's really pretty. But again, I'm like I'm wishing it had a little shimmer in there. Anyway, I have a Pat McGrath item as well. Ooh. So my Pat McGrath item, yeah, remember? Um, you were, I was asking you which one I should get. This is the lip liner. Oh, right, right, right. Um, and the shade contour. Um, and this contour is just the perfect, like pinky brown. It's almost like the same color as my top. Mm-hmm. If you need just a good go with anything, go with a nude lip, you know, liner, <laughs> this one is great. I have to show this. This was totally purchased on a whim. I saw it while I was checking out mm. um, at the counter last night. What is that? This is one of the Sephora lipsticks, I think. What is this called? Lipstick. Oh, I've had one of those. One of their lip stories. Mm -hmm. And um, She hasn't even opened it yet. I haven't even opened it yet. I used to have a pug. And so it's a pug Aww. on the lip 
lipstick case. Oh, that's so and cute. The color name is Woof. <laughs> and so cute. you guys may not know this about me, but I love black lipstick. <laughs> and it's just black. Oh, just out of curiosity, what would be the occasion that you would wear that? Um, I don't know that I would need a special occasion. Maybe if I was just, just going out. You would just wear it. I'm not. It would have to be in the evening, though. Yeah. I don't know that I would feel comfortable wearing this in the daytime to the grocery store. Interesting. Um, but if I went out to dinner, I'd probably wear this with my black NARS lip gloss that we got together. She didn't get it. I got it. Um, Interesting. Right. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I just really like black lips. <laughs> okay. And it's supposed to be matte, but it looks kind of creamy. Don't yeah, you? it looks more creamy. It's a little creamy. It has like a slight sheen to yeah. it. But I I mean, in all honesty, it was it was for the pug. The pug case. So I had talked about in my I don't know if it was in my recommendations or I think it was in my wish list video. I didn't I said that I wasn't gonna get a lot of skincare because I have just skincare that I, I'm using and I like and I'm just not really in the market mm -hmm. for anything new right now. Um, but I said that I wanted to try the Dior Backstage Foundation. But I ended up <laughs> with the Dior Forever Foundation, the 24-hour wear, high perfection. Um, I just, I like the um, the Backstage, but I just like this one more. This is just so me. This is just so my comfort zone. You know, just that perfect, long-wearing, matte, uh, you know, good for oily skin. I think it would be good for... Maybe not very dry skin, but um, they have the glow one for drier skin. Yeah, the glow one, the 24-hour glow did not work on me at all. <laughs> but I'm not surprised. Anything that says glow and my oily skin. Is that the newer Yeah, these one? are the new formulas. I'm in 3.5. And yeah, they reformulated it because it says before it was 0.35. And this is a neutral. Mm. And I like it a lot. And it's actually not what I'm wearing right now. You know what I'm wearing right now? I got a sample of that new... Givenchy. Oh. Something or other. Yeah, the new one. Yeah, the new one. They had said they had like just gotten it in it's for, so I asked for a sample and um there's um I don't know if this bothers you, but there's alcohol in that one. Probably not because you have um oilier skin. Yeah, I, I alcohol I know I get a lot of comments on videos when I do foundation reviews and things and they'll say, Oh, you know, it has such a high alcohol alcohol content and so many people are afraid of it and I I'm I'm just not like maybe I should be, but alcohol doesn't scare me. <laughs> I think if you have oilier skin, it's just it's not, yeah, not going to be bothersome. Right. I, I I don't know. I can't, like, I can feel it. I can feel uh -oh, okay. the alcoholic evaporating. Yeah. I have very dry skin, so um, I'm very jealous yeah. of this, of what's don't, going on here. Don't be. Should, should we do the little challenge? Okay. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Go All right. Ahead. I know it's her turn, but we're talking about oil and oily skin, and I was telling Michelle how I ha recently had a viewer that commented on, um, you know, how I'm always saying that I have such oily skin, but I maybe I don't come across as that oily on camera because before I come on camera, I powder my face, you know, mm -hmm. and, and um, anyway, I bought these Tatcha blotting papers and actually Bianca had these in her basket and she said that she liked them because they're bigger than usual. Yeah. And um, when I was telling you the story about the comment I received, I was saying I kind of want to show people the amount of oil that I have on my face, mm -hmm. but that would be kind of sort of gross. <laughs> I was like, do it. It's, I do mean, it. I, okay. So, you know, I just powdered right before we started filming just yeah, a few minutes ago. Like 10 okay. minutes ago. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I mean, I do know there's going to be lots of oil on this. Not as much as would be like an hour from now, but just I'm proving to everybody that I am. <laughs> An oil slick. I'm sorry if this is so gross. But like... That's amazing. <laughs> I mean, honestly. Like, that's just off my nose. Good And grief. she just powdered. Like, literally just powdered. I'm jealous. Don't be jealous. This is like, <laughs> oh my god. I, I could go through... I know, so gross. My apologies. But this is for anyone who just thinks that maybe I'm not as oily as I claim. <laughs> I am. I'm not sure why you would claim that, but okay. I I don't know, but I, I this had. But you like those? Yeah, I mean, it's 30 sheets and I need like 130. <laughs> like this will last me three days now that I'm thinking about it. Maybe not three days, a week. So I actually okay. ordered two of these 
and they haven't come yet, but I did have a backup <laughs> of this already, but it's like one of my absolute favorite things in the entire world. It's the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel. And- Oh, I've used that too. I like it. I just think it's great. It's the perfect texture. It's not too dry. It's not too mm -hmm. wet. It has just enough fibers in there. Um, I keep hearing like conflicting rumors that it's discontinued, that it's not discontinued, all these things. So anytime I see my shade Espresso, which has been really hard to find, mm. I order it. And it popped up on Sephora like the second to last day. I think like on the fifth. Oh, wow. Which is why it's not here yet. And I ordered two of them. So yeah, it's... I was going to say, if you find something like that that you love that works so well, just buy backups. Yeah. Let me just show you uh, the one that I have open. So it looks like, you know, like typical mm -hmm. brow gel. And I little, like the size. I like yeah, the little size spooly, of that. Yeah, little spoolie, and it's it's just great. I think there's four shades all together. Yeah, I've used. I have the taupe. Okay. I think it's really good. Yeah. So really yeah, good. I got two of those that are still coming. So I'm gonna do two at a time, just because I feel like we're doing sort of brand, brand. You know, we're oh, keeping yeah. in a brand theme. Like she okay. does Kevin O'Quan, I do Kevin O'Quan. Okay. She does Pat McGrath, I do Pat McGrath. Okay. So these two were actually Michelle's fault. <laughs> So, um, yeah, we, that first day of shopping when she bought the one item and my friend bought a bunch of stuff, I actually only had like maybe two or three items in my basket. I really mm -hmm. wasn't buying a lot. I thought, wow, I'm going to get out of here for under a hundred dollars, you know, it's going to be great. <laughs> then somehow we ended up in front of the Tom Ford area <laughs> and, oh, I actually have three Tom Ford things. Oh my goodness. Yeah. My cart jumped up real quick. <laughs> The dollar amount. Um, I had been, I had heard Michelle speak about the sheer highlighting duo and reflex guilt quite a bit. I've heard, I've seen other um, makeup artists that I follow use this and rave about it. I think this is so pretty. You get two different tones. So if I'm more tan, I can use the darker one, but I kind of been going into both mm -hmm. and it's really, it's, subtle. Mm -hmm. I built it up when I, when we were looking at the monitor, uh, Michelle's monitor, I thought, Ooh, that's some, some highlight I have going on <laughs> bolder than I thought, but it's just really pretty and you can use it as an eyeshadow. And then I got something else that I've been wanting for a while. You know, these things have just been in my loves list or my wish list and I just never pulled the trigger on it. And then you just convinced me. You're like, yeah, you great. Get it. Get it. <laughs> 20% off. Yeah, 20% <laughs> off. And when you're talking about Tom Ford prices, it's a good amount. So um, the blush that I got is called Lisson. Lisson Sheer Cheek Duo. And I love a pink cheek. I do have one more Tom Ford thing. And this is the uh, lip lacquer in softcore. I remember when we were at Sephora, I said that it felt like it looked a little bit orangey on me. Mm -hmm. It's too orangey on me, I think. Are you gonna return it? I might. Okay. I like the formula. It's very creamy. Yeah. But, I'm gonna put it here. It just turns pretty orangey on me. I don't know. I mean, I if you're not gonna wear it. I like <laughs> it, I like it, but I know that you well, kind of leave it pink. You, yeah, you saw it on me, I just feel like it was a little bit too orangey. I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, so I ended up getting the three new Tom Ford quads and I've already reviewed all of these yes, on I saw those. my channel. So these are actually duplicates that I'm putting into a giveaway <gasps> that I'm going to be doing. Am I eligible? Of course. I am? <laughs> of course. Okay. That would seem suspicious if you won. That would. But I do use a random, you know, yeah, winner, I do that too. winner picker. Um, so yeah. And but you gotta say which ones they are. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So that people can go check out your reviews of each of them. Yes. You should actually just so, open them up and show them to people because I want to okay. see them again. I want to see them I should also them personal. make sure they're not cracked or anything. So the first one is Body <gasps> Heat. Ooh. Isn't that pretty? Gosh. Um, so the second one is Suspicion. This is like warm, mm -hmm. It's very golden. goldeny, yeah. bronze goddessy. Yeah. Very pretty. Very pretty. This next one happens to be my personal favorite. Mm. See. This one is double indemnity. Oh, that's gorgeous for a smoky eye. Yes. Yeah. I'll talk about hair. Did you get any hair stuff? Just the Kerastase mask that oh, right. I ordered. That you that mentioned not here yet. Well, this is one of the reasons why my shipment had to go ground. Mm 
mm. instead of airs. So I got this Sashawan. Sashawan. They just contacted me about sending me stuff. Get this dry shampoo. So I get the dark dry shampoo because it just doesn't look powdery mm -hmm. in my hair. Um, it doesn't last a long time. You know, oh, as you mean most the can? yeah, as Are most you, aerosols. You go through it quickly? Oh, okay. And I don't use dry shampoo that often. I mm -hmm. wash my hair every day, but I like using it to give me some texture. Mm -hmm. And it's perfect for that. I find like I like the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray, mm -hmm. but I find that one because I have such straight, slick hair. That one kind of doesn't. It doesn't do enough, and then I feel like I add a little bit, and then all of a sudden it's like my hair's heavy, and it's like done the exact yeah, opposite. Yeah, see, I can't use the texturizing spray. It oh, just leaves like my it. hair too. And see, I don't wash my hair every day. So to when I put in a texturizing spray, I like it to be able to be brushed out. Oh, oh that's right. You said that. It just is like it's, it's too, too much. crunchy, and then I feel yeah. like I have to wash my hair again, and I can't. My hair is just too dry, and like, it's funny. My face is so oily, but my hair is super dry. So And bleach, you know, color, blonde, yeah. blonding. Does blonde. that. So. The blonding. Uh, so anyway, I just find that this one is just, it's a good what medium. What does it smell like? Does it have a smell? Oh. It does, but nothing, you don't know. Like, I like the smell of Orbe products a lot. It does not smell as good. As, no. Nothing smells as good, I don't think, as Orbe hair products. They're just amazing. Um, so anyway, I've been liking this, and my hairstylist in New York But it will slow up this. your order. It will slow FYI. up your order. FYI. <laughs> Hazmat. Yeah, especially <laughs> if you live on the West Coast. Um, and then I'll just mention these. What is that? These are those slip silk scrunchies. silk scrunchies. So, you know, I watch so many YouTubers, like while I'm doing dishes, when I'm driving in the mm -hmm. car, I listen to them. So anyway, someone recommended these and I can't remember who. This. And it comes in a pack of three. I've already taken one out. And so I they're like don't know tiny scrunchies. They're not like big fluffy scrunchies. They they're have tiny. bigger, fluffier ones. Oh, silk skinnies. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. they have these like skinny little ones. I and need to get these. I... You know, I love a scrunchie. I love a scrunchie too. I, they make fluffier ones that mm -hmm. actually look like there's a tie oh, too. Cute. So it's like, you know, if you want a little cute. something. I'll oh, see those would be better to wear on my tutorials than the ones I got yeah. on Amazon. And my, you know, my hair as uh, straight and fine as it is, it just, it bends anytime mm -hmm. I put anything in my hair. So I get the dent. So um, that's why I cute. wanted to try these. I like it. Um, so one of the things that I did talk about in my wishlist video that I wanted to try was this Jouer Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. I had to order this online because our stores do not carry Jouer nope. either. They had some of the blush. They have like one or two products from the brand, but they don't have like the full range. So I think this only comes in like four or five shades. I got the medium. So Jouer has a really nice compact and... This is what it looks like. And it really is a nice soft focus powder. It, so you've used it already? Yes. Okay. Um, it's not going to be my touch up powder per se um, for my oiliness, but I've been using it to set my face because it does just diffuse pores and lines. It reminds me a lot of the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush oh, powder. Okay. You know, just very silky and just gives you that really just nice flawless look. I, it's hydrating, so I think someone like you with okay. drier skin would really like it. And because it's not oil controlling, hence why it's not going to be my oil, like my uh -huh. MAC blot powder or anything. It's just it's just really pretty. I've been using it to set and I like the way it looks. It looks great, you know, on camera and photos. And I definitely think someone with a drier skin would really, really like it. Do you feel like you see extra coverage with it? No, not really. It's okay. just almost like a, just a diffusion. So it's just thin. A, it's like a pretty powder. It's like a pretty filter. Oh, well, yeah. I need, so I need all the pretty I can get. Oh, give me a break. Come on. Uh, um, all right. You know, I was interested in that. Yeah. And you then I feel like someone said it was drier than they thought it was. Anyway, I should just try it myself. Yeah, you gotta try it you yourself. Never know. Yeah, because everybody's degree of dryness is different. It totally. Um, oiliness. So another re-up product is this Dior Backstage Air Flash Radiance Mist mm. Primer and Setting Spray. Mm. So I think I talked about this in my yes. recommendations. Yes, I, this is sounding very familiar favorites. to me. Yeah, and it is not a very big bottle. I don't use setting spray often. Mm -hmm. I use it every once in a while. Um, but it gives your skin this like blurred effect. Mm. It really, it really makes it look like you have a filter on. 
I think there's a little bit of a tint. So this is 001, and I think they're either coming out with more shades, mm -hmm. or they already have. I'm not sure, but I'm 001. It's just amazing, but it's a small bottle, and it's $50. So how long does it take you to go through it, just out of curiosity? It what? took me maybe, me, who uses this maybe once a week at most, um, maybe like four or five months. Oh, but you only used it once a week. At most. So mm. maybe sometimes once every two weeks. So not right. often. It really is not a big bottle. Wanted to take advantage of the sale mm -hmm. um, to get that. But it is, yeah. it's magical. Ooh, it's, it's magical. Dull down any shine. All right, we're going in. We're testing the spray. The Miracle Pretty Filter Spray. Yep. So how much? Take a, take yeah, a look. A take a look before. We're doing a before and after. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So do I just like, I would do a setting spray? Mm-hmm. I do a round, a round spiral. Oh. So I get every bit. Is that enough? Mm-hmm. Oh. I was skeptical. I was not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I was skeptical. But it like but it softens. Does. It does, it does. It's like it gives <laughs> you a filter. It's like it gives you a filter. Isn't it amazing? What <laughs> is this sorcery? <coughs> oh, I think my. I breathed some in though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put on a face mask before application, but isn't it cool? I can see it on like your cheeks and your forehead. Yeah. I almost feel like it diffused the shine too that was mm -hmm. coming through. Because it's like a powder kind of that comes yes. out with the nozzle, which is why I feel like they came out with different shades. <sighs> isn't that neat? I'm just gonna sneak this in my purse right now. Now that I have a backup? Yeah, she, has a, she doesn't need this. You got a Kevin O'Quam bronzer. Mm -hmm. I finally, I'm what, 15 years behind the curve on this one? I bought myself a terracotta bronzer from Guerlain. It is the Natural Blondes, 02 Natural Blondes. You know, Guerlain is known for their bronzers. They just do such an amazing job. They, do. they look so natural. You don't look orange, mm -mm. which is not. A good I feel look. like some of them are like. If yeah, you prefer... some of them. Yes, they. They. I. That's why I chose this one because yeah. I felt like it was warm, but it wasn't going to make me orange. Anyway, I like it. I'm happy that I finally got nice. one. Yes, it looks nice. Um, and then the rest of my stuff is skincare. So another re-up product, um, I'm a big fan of the La Mer, the Moisturizing Soft Lotion, and I, th I think I already, I have a backup under my sink, but the one I'm using now is very low. It's hard to tell because the bottle is solid. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, uh, it's what I use at night. It's my favorite moisturizer. It's, um, <laughs> this is probably the most polarizing topic I talk about on my channel. Moisturizer? Be uh, La Mer. Oh, oh, why? People either think that it's like the miracle that I think it is, or they think, or it's, they just think it's just the biggest ripoff yeah. and it's given them a rash. Like, they either love it or yeah. they hate it. Um, but I, I am it's in the like love the, it camp. You told me you didn't like the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, and you didn't think that I would like it. I, not thought, that I don't like it. It gave me a rash. Oh, see, I love the magic cream. It works beautifully under my makeup. It doesn't make me more greasy. I love the smell. I love everything about it. And some people, I mean, yeah. a lot of people love that magic cream and I wanted to love it. Love it. it just, it gave me, I like don't want to love weird... it because it's a hundred dollars a jar, but that's how much is that? That's probably around the same, right? No, this is like two <gasps> eighty, two something. Shh. So yeah, I have, well, I, not only do I have dry sensitive skin, but I have eczema and there's that's really two eighty. Yeah. And there's petrolatum in here, which some people are like, ee, 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 but mm. that gives me a false barrier, which is what my skin needs. Mm -hmm. It's just that like the protection that I need. So anyway, you need to get yourself on the La Mer PR list. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone me. out there? <laughs> Call me La Mer. Phone moi. I went into Sephora thinking I wanted to get the new Jo Malone Frangipani flower, I think it's called. Remember we went over mm -hmm. there and I smelled it and I liked it at first, but then at the dry down just didn't work for me. I didn't, I didn't like mm -hmm. it. So I ended up getting this Toka, is it Toka or Toka? Toka. Toka Eau de, Par Eau de Parfum and Julieta. And I got the, um, I honestly, I should have gotten the big bottle, but I love 
travel sizes that aren't roller balls. For some reason, I have an aversion to roller balls. Why? I, I prefer a spray. Okay. I don't know. I just I prefer a spray and to walk through it. I, I don't know. I feel like whenever I use roller balls, the scent really just never comes out on okay. me. I, I don't know. But I made a little mistake because when I was looking at the prices, I could have sworn this was $27. <laughs> and I thought, oh, that's a great size. And I mean, it did say, it said $27 for the travel size. So apparently this isn't the... Apparently it does come in a roller ball, and then it comes in this, uh, and then it comes in the full size. Okay. So this was like 36 you know, less the discount. But what I'm trying to get at is that I should have just bought the full size. Okay. And then, you know, I guess I do really love it. So I could buy the full size and then just use this one when I travel. So. Can I smell? Yeah, for sure. Want me to spray it on me? Oh, nice. It's really nice. It's very, like, clean, very soft. Clean springy you're just everyday yeah. pretty yeah um, only slightly sweet like not yeah. overpowering yeah not overpowering oh, and nice. yeah i really like that and i think i'm gonna get the full size Yay. okay so my last we're thing, almost done guys um <laughs> woo! Five thousand hours later <laughs> um so this is completely new to me and I was really excited for this. Um, so this is the Drunk Elephant. I think it's just the, the melting butter. Everybody is into these melting cleansers. I've talked Makeup about the one from yep. Physicians Formula a lot lately. So I basically can't use much from Drunk Elephant because mm -hmm. they have a lot of acids and vitamin mm -hmm. C and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And my sensitive skin can't take it. So whenever they create something I can use, I'm like really, really excited. So I, I wanted to give this a shot. And I feel like these thick... Uh, balmy cleansers are great for dry skin and mm -hmm. makeup removal because mm -hmm. they're oil based. So I'm really excited. There's this weird like bamboo booster inside. Mm -hmm. So I opened this up just to make sure everything was, you know, copacetic. And there's like this little, well, I'll just pull it out. This little bottle, bamboo booster exfoliant slough and refine. I don't oh, know. Interesting what that is. I can't use uh, like chemical exfoliators. I mm -hmm. have to use physical ones, which I know a lot of people don't like because of the roughness, but that's all I can use um, in terms of exfoliators. So I have to check this out to mm -hmm. see if I can use it. And if not, I'll take it. Yeah. No, for sure. Um, but this... It's a nice big jar because the one I use from Physicians Formula is this tiny little jar. So does that end up being cost effective you talk um, about it in your video yeah and you know what somebody actually just left me a comment today um saying that they use the clinique one which i could not use stephanie marie raved about the clinique one so when she was here in town like i tried hers and i didn't like it because it felt like i had an oily film left on my face me too and then i had to wash my face again okay so what this commenter was saying is that um if you buy three or however whatever equals the clinique the clinic ends up being less money, but you know, the clinic just didn't work for me. So, um, how many ounces is in this? This is 3.88 ounces, so 110 grams. Mm -hmm. And how much was it? I have no idea. I don't know. 30 something? I mean, as long as I love these type of cleansing balms, and like you said, they're oil based, which you wouldn't think for an oily skin like mine would work well. But they do if they don't leave that oily film mm -hmm. like the Clinique one did. So mm -hmm. I'm interested to hear your thoughts on that okay. because, um, you know, I like to try all different kinds of, and, and I like to give people options at different price points. And But yeah, it is important to look at, you know, the value. Right. Like, is it even worth, you know, right. but. Yeah. Oh, and it has, it's like magnetized, which oh, is so cool. awesome. That's I great. Always lose this yes, thing. my little spatula, like, is, yeah, yeah. disappears. Yeah. Um, that's it. Oh, we're done. We're done. We are done. Woo! We're done. We did it. We made it. Um, yeah, that's so, so I'm excited to play with my stuff more. I'm excited yes. to hear what you think of maybe your new stuff. Um, yep. I definitely am going to get myself some of this because <laughs> you know what I feel like? Um, I feel like my face feels less oily. I know we just, we talked about that, touched on that, how I feel like it helped with the shine, mm -hmm. but I actually feel drier. I mean, I know for you, that's not a good thing to hear, but I, when you're oily, you tend to feel very greasy sometimes, mm -hmm. like makeup, especially under lights, you just feel like you're sweaty or greasy. And I feel like this kind of just took that all away. Yeah. Like I just, I feel better about myself. Well, <laughs> it's... 
it's interesting because you you look less shiny. Yeah. Um, and but it's stayed that way. Mm -hmm. Like when you powdered, I, and then I, you showed the blotting pow you know papers. That was or whatever, only ten minutes later. That was ten minutes later. This has been I don't know twenty thirty minutes mm -hmm. now. Yeah. And you still look less shiny. So we're going to film another video for Michelle's channel right now, but we really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Yes. And thank you for letting me come over. And oh. I haven't fully immersed myself into Michelle's drawers yet, but I will. <laughs> we're going to do that soon. We'll do that later. <laughs> um, but definitely check out the video that we are going to record now is going to go on Michelle's channel. Uh, and definitely check out all of her videos if you want to be tempted by some high-end luxury, some town Ford. If you've ever been curious, I mean, she's really the channel to go to when you do want to, if you've never really taken that leap into Sisley or Tom Ford mm -hmm. and you want to know what good products to start with or, you know, you're the, you're kind of like the go-to person. Like, mm -hmm. you know all about it. And if there's a new release, she's on it. She's got it for you. She's going to review it for you. <laughs> I try. She's going to really hurt your bank account in ways you <laughs> never imagined. But, um, no, but she's also very enjoyable to watch and just an all around nice person. Because I don't nice. hang out with not nice people. <laughs> That's um, true. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And subscribe to Michelle's. And you can follow both of us on Instagram. And um, do you have Twitter? Do you do Twitter? I don't do Twitter. I barely do Twitter. But I'm on Twitter. And I have a Facebook as well. All that information will be either on the screen or in the description. And all products, links to the products, everything you ever wanted to know will be in the description. So that'll do it. Thank you guys again. Bye. See you soon. Thank you.